Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2. Let's play Desiderata Valley, round four. And we're back with the Contrary family. And let me tell you guys, this is like my fifth time recording uh, this episode, because so many things went wrong. Um, first off, I recorded uh, the full two days, because you'll notice it is winter officially. So I did record um, an entire two days of this household did a whole bunch of stuff, and then realized after I had saved and left the game that uh, I had been recording with no sound and no audio recording. So uh, that's pretty great. So I couldn't use that, and then I uh, tried to come back a couple more times, and I had downloaded all these uh, Intinimator uh, mods for The Sims 2 to try and see if we could get, uh, you know, Violet and Rick to woohoo as teenagers, because I really, really wanted that. And uh, it just messed up my whole entire game. I don't think um, it's compatible anymore. There's just like, it wasn't the right ones I was downloading. So just completely abandoned that. You guys know uh, I don't put a lot of uh, mods into my Sims 2 game because I've never, I've never had to before or never wanted to before. Now it's just like, they're just not um, maintained anymore. So there's a whole bunch of problems that I'm just finding. So Forget that. We're just going to have to wait until they're young adults. No big deal. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly let you guys know what happened in the part that I recorded successfully. Uh, basically, Rick asked Violet out on a date, and we are officially going steady. Um, and we took her out on a date to uh, Master Cook's restaurant. And uh, it was kind of a bad date. We uh, we got our needs really low. The service was just not that great. Julian has a lot of work to do with that restaurant, let me tell you. Um, and uh, so we uh, we talked to her, and we've been, um, you know, back and forth with Violet and Rick's relationship, whether they are romantic or it's just purely pl platonic, because, like, half of you think Rick is uh, gay, and the other half of you guys think that he is in love with Violet, and that he's, like, straight and or bisexual. Um, and I'm, I have no opinion either way, I guess. I'm just kind of seeing what's going on. But I do feel that they are best friends, Violet and Rick. They are best friends and they deeply care about one another. And it's one of those things where, you know, that, that care and that love, um, is, it's flexible. It shifts between romantic and like... Um, and platonic. Um, so Rick kind of spoke with Violet and kind of suggested, because he's like, you know, if I don't, if we don't try, how will we ever know? Like, I don't want to have any regrets when I'm older. And at first Violet said no, because she didn't want to ruin their friendship and ruin what they already had. But then the next day they talked about it and, um, and she was more open to it. She's like, you know what? You're right. Like, I'd rather us try now uh, and know for a for sure, whether we are um, compatible as a couple, uh, then not try and regret it when we're older. So that's kind of where they're at. They're both super, super happy. Uh, Rick and Edward got into a huge fight because Edward does not approve of Violet because Violet encourages Rick to do what he wants and Edward wants Rick to do what, he, what Edward wants, you know. Um, so they're kind of fighting hardcore, but Opal and Rick, uh, Opal's in the shower right now, uh, Opal and Rick are getting closer, and she does really like Violet. She thinks the two of them are great together, and, you know, she is best friends with Sophia, so, yeah. So that's what happened, um, kind of, uh, I'm upset, and I'm so sorry that I missed recording it, but, um, Edward's out here, and he's shooting some hoops because he does need a body skill point, which he just earned. Uh, and Opal is making breakfast this morning, but Edward is a clean freak, and this kitchen is a freaking disgusting, so is this toilet over here, like, the house is a hot and complete mess. Uh, Rick is getting ready for school, and, um, and this part, Peyton will be aging up, and it is also actually Edward's birthday, so the two of them will be aging up, super excited, we're gonna have a pretty big party, and invite all of our friends and such. Oh my god, are you fit? Say what, boy? Okay, so he's going to come eat some toaster pastry. Uh, Rick is hungry as well, so he'll come and 
uh, eat with his parents too. I don't think he's done his homework. Nope, it is all right there. That's no buenos. <laughs> that is no buenos. Uh, and Opal, I want her to not go to work this morning or today. She does have her vacation days. And she wants to spend like her last day with Peyton before Peyton turns into a toddler. And then we'll hire a nanny. So, uh, so she's going to stay home today and um, kind of do her. I want her to uh, get her hobby skill up a bit more and um, all of that. So that'll be fun. She also wants Rick to get a scholarship to go to university. And he does want to go to university, but honestly, guys, I don't think we're going to be following um, anyone to university in this town like I did with River Blossom Hills. Um, because we've already done university in the other three Let's Plays uh, for Pleasant View, Strange Town, and um, and Veronaville. That and honestly, I find it super boring, like personally. So um, I'm sorry if you want to see that, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm like 90% sure we're not gonna go to university with them. <laughs> the backyard is a hot freaking mess. We have so many things to rake up and everything. Um, Lag, lag, lag. Okay, cool. So they're going to uh, school and or work today. Okay, they're all chatting. Are they? Uh... There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, good. So uh, his grades are probably going to drop again. He's going to have to do some massive homework when he gets home. Uh, but Opal will help him, so that is fine. She's going to clean up all these dishes. I think she's going to do a little bit of house cleaning while she's at it, just because the house is so disgusting. And we desperately need to clean um, everything. Like, look at this counter. It's dripping. It is dripping. But strangely, she wants to be best friends with Violet. I think she's super excited uh, at the idea of Violet being involved in their family somewhere, probably because... Um, well, she's, like, she's seen Violet grow up, so Opal knows Violet is, like, a really sweet girl and that she uh, really does um, care about Rick deeply and that she just, like, she just fits into the family so well, so that's great. Uh, the other thing that happened is we did get robbed. Uh, the robber just stole a whole bunch of pictures. We had pa paintings and pictures, um, and he stole them all, but then we got, like, 4,000 simoleons to, like, pay for it, so that's all fine and dandy. Um, okay, so we're going to do just some uh, cleaning and then some gardening and things like that. Peyton is just chilling. She's doing her. I'm so excited to see what she looks like as a toddler. Like, she's going to be the cutest freaking thing. My God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Clean, 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 darling. So she's going to clean everything. I'm just going to speed through. Um, does Rick have work today? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Because he needs to do his homework really really badly <laughs> oh my goodness okay so we're outside doing some gardening and stuff that's fine his grades are slipping i knew it uh, he has today off so he's going to come here and let's see if i can uh unpile it because i know he started a couple oh no he didn't okay let's start at the end and get that going he might need some homework help which i think he might so i'm gonna have him unlock his door and um, Opal's going to take care of her needs so that um, so that uh, she can help Rick with his homework um, after. And Peyton. Okay, and then we're going to throw a birthday party uh, this evening and invite over the Jacques family and uh, Julian Cook, John Mole, um, those people. Because we're not really friends with anyone else in the town. Um, or is Edward friends? He's friends with John Mole, that's it. Him and John Mole are, like, working together on, like, the cases and stuff. Um, I know, honey, I know. Yeah, we'll invite the jocks. And, um, there we go. Okay, good. He needs fun. I'm going to have him actually come out and shoot some hoops after he does the one. But he's definitely going to need help with his homework. It's going to be hard, like, because he needs to, uh... He needs to do his homework, but it's his um, sister and father's birthdays. Like, what uh, What are we going to do? Like, what are you going to do, you know? What are you going to do? Oh, she's so cute. Okay. And uh, she's going to serve some lunch meat sandwiches because she's starving. 
Oh, the phones are ringing. Let's go ahead and answer that because what annoys me in this game is the freaking phone. Who are you? I don't want to talk with you. I don't know who you are. Okay. Are we having fun? Ooh, Edward got promoted. Oh my God. So much money. Yes, honey. Uh, we are now a marine biologist. Marine biology, no longer just a fish squeezer or a hired hand, spending all your free time trying to get the water out of your ears. Now you're in the big leagues, studying all types of strange, exotic, bioluminescent, poisonous barbed, ink-secreting, spear-spitting sea life. Maybe you should invest in some goggles. He now works from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. What? That's only... That's only six hours. Like, first thing in the morning? What? That's a crazy time. Oh, well, okay. So... He's, uh, he's good to go. He's going to come change into his everyday. Uh, change into his everyday and I think quickly just pull these weeds because, like, we're having guests come over, like, at 6. So we need to, like, clean up. Rick is just shooting some hoops. He's getting his fun up. Um, and he's getting some body points. And he's getting, you know, into sports and stuff. So that's pretty great. He loves shooting hoops. Um, playing bass, get the ball. Good for him. Mahanis. Mahanis! Okay, cool. Uh, yes. Good, good, good. So we will eat, eat, eat. We're just prepping for this party. No big deal. Cool. That's perfect. You don't need to worry about the backyard, honey. Don't worry about the backyard. Come eat some uh, sandwich. Rick, are you hungry, my dear? A little bit? He just, he wants more fun. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so funny. Okay, cool. I think that's enough. How about you come take a quick bath? And then, um, and then it's five o'clock. I think we can do your homework really quickly again, and then you should be good to do your homework for the rest of the night, as long as Opal helps you with one. So these two are, you know, being adorable as anything. He wants to give her a kiss. He's so excited. And she's like, I've planned something nice for your birthday, honey. And he's like, you're the absolute best. Oh, my God. Sorry. My camera skills are so bad. You're the absolute best, my dear. Like, I absolutely love you. Can you blow a kiss, please? Come on, come on, come on. You don't, you don't want to do it? Blow a kiss. Come on. There you go. Yeah, he ages up. Unfortunately, um, he's going to be an elder, which it's not a big deal. Um, I would have liked to keep him younger, but I can't afford... No one has enough points for the, um, the elixir of life. Oh, we can grab this. Yes. Is anyone else ready? You are. Let's grab that. Are you ready? Oh, no. Sorry, darling. Okay. Almost 6 o'clock. We don't have time to help work with his homework. We're going to have to just throw a birthday party. So we'll come do that. And start getting ready to go. He's tired, too. I don't know what we're going to do. He's going to not be able to... Um, not be able to do all his homework for tomorrow and his grades are slipping so bad he can't do that okay so but opal's coming she's gonna you know get all the food ready i'm gonna move this sorry i'm gonna move this somewhere else do i have a table anywhere what the hell i don't have anywhere else to put this are you serious Okay, let's just put it on the floor, because <laughs> I need space for the cake. So we're inviting Sophia, Violet, and Marcel. We'll invite Julian Cook, and Jessica Picasso, and John Mull, and um, Hannah Bell, why not? Okay, so we're going to start with, um, start with uh, Peyton, and Peyton's cake. So we're going to get her a pink candle cake. And when everyone comes, we will take her straight in because I'm just so excited to see her as a toddler. And, you know, Edward can Edward can wait. He's going to clean up these dishes super quick. And then people should be coming in now. And I'm going to just have Rick lock his door. Um, allow me only because I don't want people using his computer because people tend to do that, you know. But Violet's here. Everyone's here. Congratulate. What are we congratulating Marcel on? Oh my god, and if they adopt a toddler boy, <gasps> then they can be best friends. It'll be freaking great. Oh, look at everyone. Everyone wants to chat and, you know, hang out and stuff. This is nice. This is great. Who are you? I didn't invite you. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and... Okay, Rick's holding her, so let's just have him bring her to the cake. We'll just do that. That's so sweet that he's doing it for his sister. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look, he's like, Violet is like stuffing her face. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, everyone's just eating chips. I hate when they do that. Like, don't go into my fridge and grab chips. Who puts chips in the fridge? Has anyone ever thought of that? It's just where the things are, you know? Oh, Peyton's looking at Sophia. She likes her. Everyone's looking at Sophia. They're like, girl, you big though. Yes, yes, yes. Like how his collar's getting clipped in his shirt. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna, are you gonna, here we go. She looks just like her brother. Why are their faces merging? Oh my God, their faces just merged. Okay, let's take a look at her really, really quick. She looks, she looks so much like Edward. Oh my God. She has like Edward's full blown face. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Darling, go here. Crawl here. Crawl here quickly. Okay, Rick is like freaking exhausted. Um, I think he's gonna come. Uh, oh, look at Opal and Violet. That's so sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just move this cake. Okay, hang on, cancel. Put this here. Move the cake in there. Get ourselves a new cake for Edward. And then Edward, come blow out the candles. I'm gonna go to sleep, honey. I know you're tired, but it's time for your birthday. There goes Peyton. Oh my God, we get to dress her up after. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so excited. Is no one else going to come watch? Yes, yes, Opal, yes. I know you're attracted to Yehebi. But it was so sweet of her to play Red Hands with Violet. Like, that's so sweet. Everyone's still in, like, their winter outfits. They're like, no, I'm not taking... Oh my goodness. Oh, God. oh here comes Peyton, too. Let's see. Oh, she wants to follow... She's following Opal. Oh my goodness. Look at all the candles on his cake. <laughs> like, you are turning 70. 70 candles, man. 70 candles. Oh my god, he's old! Oh, I like his outfit. He's so cute. It suits him. The wink. The old man wink. Okay, we can have Patrick and Travis age up another time. Alright, let's all grab some cake. Uh, yeah, Rick's going to bed. That's fine. We're gonna grab a plate of cake. Um, we are going to need to, uh, where is she? <gasps> oh my goodness gracious! You are the cutest thing. Holy crap -oly. She's playing with the fishies! She's standing on her own already! You just aged up! She's a freaking prodigy! She's a prodigy, guys. I'm <laughs> so excited. <laughs> like, it's not even funny. Look at you! Look at cake. Opal doesn't need cake. She needs to hold her child. Look at you! You're so freaking small heart! God, I adore her. Okay. And we'll come potty train her. Uh, because she needs some potty training. And, um... And I kind of feel like Opal might want to not work anymore. Maybe. Oh, look at Marcel and Sophia. Hi, excuse both of you. Excuse both of you. Oh my god, we still have two hours of this party. It's probably going to get shut down. Oh, not, not you, honey. No, no, no. Just come potty train Peyton. And, yeah, she really needs to pee. I'm sorry. There we go. Potty training, potty training. 
Good girl. She's so and she wants to be tickled, so we'll tickle her. She's so freaking cute, my god. Okay. I don't want to plan her every day. I know Op oh Opal just passed out. Okay. Okay. No mommy. Okay, Edward will do it. Come plan. Did you just take a shower, Marcel? Jesus! He took a bubble bath. What the heck? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so um, okay, come, Opal, you need to go straight to bed, like, it's not even, oh my god, she's, like, full-on passed out, and she doesn't care, Peyton doesn't care, she's just like, what is this, what is life? Okay, I want to quickly, let's get Edward awake, he can do it, because he does adore his daughter so freaking much, we're gonna come and plan her everyday outfit, I'm gonna just, uh, do this really quickly, we got a good job. I'm surprised the party didn't get shut down by the cops. Like, it's like midnight on a on a weekday. Can we? He does need to go to bed, like, immediately because he has work at four in the morning. Oh my god, her outfits are freaking adorable. I guess that's her formal wear, right? No, I'm, I'm fine with this, but let's come here and change her appearance really quickly. So I don't know if I want this. I just want to like see her face up and close, you know? You know? Yeah, she looks exactly like Edward. Apparently this is a uh, custom hair. Did not know, but she looks cute with the bandana too. What's the difference between this hair there's no difference between these hairs. Yeah, dingo. Okay. Oh, I downloaded custom hair. And... Yeah, it's not... I don't know. <laughs> um... Let's give her a bandana. Her pants are yellow, so we'll give her a yellow bandana. I think that's super cute. Okay, let's snuggle her. And is she tired? Kind of, yes. So we're going to put her to sleep as well. Uh, but quickly, let's just take a look before we end this part. Uh, I want to take a look at who she is. Um, so she's like best friends with her mom, like 100%. Uh, definitely going to be close with her brother and probably close with her father because Edward is going to like spoil her to death she is super super neat but she's extremely shy she's also very active and playful and nice um so she's gonna be like this like shy sweet little thing and uh rick is definitely going to be like the overprotective elder brother and she's gonna be so shy that she'll just like she follows what her father wants her to be i definitely can see that um so far her it seems that her interests are sports, but also paranormal and sci-fi and animals and school. So I, th different from Rick. Oh no! Oh, he likes kind of the same things. Um, so interesting. It'll be interesting to see if she's into sports or if she's into something else. Um, and she remembers that they got um, robbed and that her dad grew up into an elder and that she became best friends with her mom. So I'm so excited to see what she's going to. Uh, to be um and yeah so this is where i'm going to end this part because i don't want to get this household uh more ahead than the other uh families so if you guys are enjoying the series please give this video a fat thumbs up and subscribe for it more as i put them out fairly regularly uh any suggestions or um what you think the family is going to um do next part or like what they're thinking leave them in the comment section down below i love seeing them uh yeah I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.